Hey everybody, it's a loyal gamer welcoming everyone back to Let's Play Spyro 2 Reptos Rage. I'm sorry for the uh, long uh, hiatus. I think it was about two weeks since I didn't upload. And we're gonna go ahead and conquer the overworld here real quick. And just talk about stuff. Um, thankfully, the overworld really isn't that hard. Ooh, I need to get up there and... Um, well, I have to get the uh, head well, count first. So it comes down to this. Oh, shut There's up, only... moneybags. Just give me it. Uh, a thousand G's, man. All right. Well, there you go. Head bash. Boom, man. All right, there you go. And that unlocks the second half of this overworld here. So, basically... This overworld is pretty easy in terms of the levels in it. Um, nothing really too challenging, in my honest opinion. I think the this overworld's probably easier than the second overworld. I don't know, some of you might think the opposite, but I just had another practice run of, the, of all the levels here in particular, and none of them are really quite hard. There's a run... There's your, there's your uh, one of your stage orbs there, but there's a run in one of these levels that's pretty hard, uh, but it's really not. All it takes is like a couple tries and you got it down. To be honest, I'm really not even that worried about it. There we go. Just skate around, get these orbs, and you can activate this portal by talking to the professor. Well, it's some consolation that you've collected so many orbs. My high-tech portal here will take you to Cloud oh, Temple. Oh, really? I can show you the world. Sparkling, shimmering, splendid. Oh, God. Did any of you guys see that freaking video with Jigglypuff and Professor Oak singing together? It's ridiculous, man. I'm telling you that. Whew. But that's what he sounds like. It's so hilarious. It sounds like a freaking professor back there. Wait a minute. I heard something. I heard a sparkly. Wait a minute. Is that... No, that's a penguin. Dumbass. Alright, so it's through that wall. We'll have to go over there. And there's some over here. Oh, that's right. There's a few over here. Make sure you smash all these rocks. There you go. And on top of this world, we're going to have to go back, and uh, that's right, we're going to have to go back and do those uh, levels that need to be 100%ed. Unfortunately, I have to redo uh, a minigame that uh, requires the head bash, so that's not going to be good. But we're at the very tail end of this game anyway, so it doesn't really matter. And up in here is actually a hidden stage. Well, it's not really a hidden, hidden stage, but it's just hard to find stage. One last speed. And 200. You yep. Go. You're going to have to spend the gems in order to 100% this game. All right. So he's pointing up. There is a secret orb up there, and it's very easy to get to. I'll show you how to do it once we actually finish with the gems down here. Nom, nom, nom. And there's another rock and a vase. And I think that's it for out here. We'll just have to go inside now. Deep inside. Oh! Well, I didn't really intend to uh, take this path yet, but whatever. And we'll just... Go ahead and head pound down here. And there you go. And we'll just... Whoop. Oh, yeah. There's nothing over here. I don't know why they didn't, like, put gems down here. That would have been, like, perfect for that. But, oh, well. All right. Where am I? Okay. And here is the other orb. I think that's it for the secret orbs out here. think. And we'll just take this all the way back up again. 
And uh, what's really funny is that we actually have enough orbs to beat Ripto, or to con at least confront Ripto. So we could end the game this episode if we wanted to, but uh, obviously I'm not going to do that since I'm 100%ing this game. Alright. Let's see, what else do we have to do? Oh yeah, I think... Yeah, Robotica Farms. It's this level that has that annoying uh, run thing that you have to do, and that was really the toughest thing that I experienced in any of these levels out here. Um, the rest of them are really not that hard. One of them is actually in insanely easy. I forgot which level that was. Oh, uh, more portal activations, huh? I can see you've learned the value of Orb Spyro. Bra 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 bra. Metropolis. Oh yeah, that one's easy. That one's pretty easy. It's another speedway type level. No, it's actually not. It's uh it's a different level, but it's really not that hard. Again, it's uh whatevs. And we're just going to climb up these steps. Step Step. These are some weird ass steps, man. Not gonna lie. And we have a couple more uh, overworld portals that we can use. All right, <laughs> and we already have enough to face Ripto, which is hilarious. Eh, shut up. Shut up. Ripto in itself is kind of challenging. Uh, not gonna lie, but he's really not that hard to face. And we are not done with the gem gem hunt. Whoop. Oh, right there. And we're still not done with the gem hunt. <laughs> that sucks. Oh, that's right. I have to fly using this thing. And fly over here. Oh, and there's another orb. How pleasant. There you go. Three out of three orbs. And... Are these our last ones? Alright. doop de loo Winter Tundra is complete. Awesome. And we still have some time to spare. Alright, so... Uh, usually I don't like to leave these videos open-ended like this, where I start a level and then I finish halfway into it. So what I will do is go back to Autumn Plains, and we're just going to go ahead and maybe finish a couple levels uh, that we need to pick up more gems on. I'll probably start off with the one with the hippos. I forgot what it was called already, but we'll go ahead and go back and finish that one. Damn, that orb noise drives me crazy, because I think there's, like, some type of emerald floating around. Okay, where am I? Jeez. Yeah, I need to return to that hippo level, and then we can concentrate on doing uh, the Fracture Hills. Yeah, that's the other one. Fracture Hills, man. Alright. Scorch. Scorch should be completed. Fracture Hills will skip you for now. And... Was it this one? It was Shady Oasis, wasn't it? Ooh, I'm missing an orb there, too. Ah. Yeah. We'll have to do the orb for this one, too, in order to 100% this level. And I will be right back. See you in a second, guys. Alright, and we are back. Uh, just gotta start my timer there. There we go. Uh, okay, we are back. And I accidentally triggered this mini game. Uh, I also have to uh, toast the pot that randomly appears all over the stage because I forgot about that too, apparently. So we'll just hurry up and do this. Three star difficulty. And 
shit. Not really that hard, though. go <laughs> that's it <laughs> big family but you've managed to save and there is your orb da -da -da -da. all right and oh that's easy all right we'll just go ahead take care of this all right and i think that's it for that and we'll just do this pot quest over there. Over yonder. Okay, so where could it have gone? Up, oh, right over there. Fancy that. We'll just glide right over here. Thankfully, it's a very short stage, so I'll probably just go ahead and keep this in the episode. <laughs> Pardon me. Oh, it's right over there. Oh, yeah, this one's easy. Yeah. It's probably the easiest level in the entire game, to be honest. And that's right at the start of the level. Woo! There we go. And that should be... That should be it, really. Oops. There you go! We're all set with this level, anyway. And that makes an episode perfect. Until next time, this is a little gamer signing off, and I will complete Fracture Hills on the next episode. Peace and see you later. Bye bye.